Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about um, the hardware of this device, okay? So um, this is a slider with a full QWERTY over three rows, right? Um, you can access numbers and, or, or, or those um, symbols in blue by clicking the alternate button here, okay? Um, it runs uh, ARM Cortex-A8 as a core processor. In, in terms of the architecture, it's uh, running the TI OMAP 3430, right? And uh, the chip is rated at uh, 600 megahertz. Uh, this is a resistive touchscreen, 800 by 480 pixels. Okay, uh, it comes with 332, sorry, gigabytes of uh, built-in memory, right, and one gig of virtual memory, uh, and then one gig of virtual memory uh, is broken down into 256 RAM, and then uh, the remaining 700 plus would be uh, uh, virtual. Sorry, when I said one gig, I meant uh, application memory. Okay, <laughs> so um, behind here you can see. Uh, Tau Zeiss 5 megapixel camera, okay, that's the one, and then there's a very handy kickstand, you can put it here and you can watch movies, uh, I've done that on an aeroplane several times uh, and I think it beats watching whatever in-flight movies there are. Uh, speaking of movies, uh, th this device uh, supports multiple uh, codecs, so things like um, you know, uh, XVIT is supported as well, I would like to highlight, and the rest of them are pretty much uh, you know, quite common, but XVIT uh, in particular I would like to highlight. Have you tried anything that is uh, 1080 or just 720p? Um, I, 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 I tried some 720, I'm not, I, I can't really comment on 1080. Okay, yeah. so yeah. 720 should be fine. Uh, 1080 will be too stressful, <laughs> yeah, I, to a certain extent. I think most phones will have this problem, by the way. I I don't know. I really can't comment on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't comment on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, other than that, in terms of the hardware key, this is the power button here, right? And this obviously is the camera shutter button, right? And then these buttons up and down really depends on which application you're in let's say in the web browser then this allows you to zoom in and out uh, if you're listening to music then it's a volume control right and um, then here you have a micro usb port which is used for transferring data um, as well as for charging the phone right and on the other side here uh, you have a hardware screen lock so you just twitch it and then the screen you know becomes sort of, sort of uh, protected, right? And then this is your 3.5 mm for audio, right? And then this particular thing here is a handy little thing for your stylus. Yep. And um, how about expandability, right? So this is the battery, right? It's uh, 1320 mAh. Um, in terms of uh, talk time, it's about five hours WCDMA. Uh, if you use on online and all that, uh, it should last you more than a day. Right. Underneath that is the SIM card. Let's not take it out for now, otherwise uh, we have some problem. Uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll turn off the phone. Here you have a micro SD card. So uh, depending on what card you use, up to 16 gigs I think you can buy in the market these days. Plus uh, 6 or plus 10 or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, 16, if you add it to the existing 32, you can potentially go up to uh, 48 gigs of storage space uh, with this device. Right. So um, yeah, th th that's pretty much uh, all I have on the NN100. Okay, so basically, till now, uh, there are some talk about you know, having the Netflix OS on this particular phone. So what are your comments about it? Still too early to say. Still too early to say? Yep. Okay, so we will expect something to be announced? Um, well, I, I think I'll leave that to Imran to comment on uh, regarding the announcements. But at this point in time, uh, yeah, we are, uh, still, it's, it's still, still too early. Yeah.